Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening po ma'am at kung ano man po nyo itong oras mapapanood or mapapakinggan po. Here's my presentation about my favorite national artist. My favorite national artist is, um, as you will see in the picture, this is a picture of Francisco Bobby Manyosa, um, which is considered as the father of Philippine neo-vernacular architecture. When we say neo-vernacular architecture, these are architecture that drew on brick, tile, and other traditional materials and even on vernacular forms in a general reaction against international modernism in the 1960s and 1970s. He was also known for some of today's iconic landmarks and immortalizing Baha'i Kubo-inspired architectural style and aesthetic in modern architecture. Um, as we all know, we are familiar about Bahay Kubo. Um, a Bahay Kubo is just a simple squared plan um, which is made of um, indigenous materials such as bamboo, latan, nipa, and other, and other indi indigenous materials. His quest to define Filipino architecture through incorporating indigenous elements and materials in his works. Rightfully positioned him among the country's greats as he was conferred as a national artist for architecture in 2018. <clears throat> he also pioneered the sustainable architecture. Um, when we say sustainable architecture, these are architecture that um, um, uses natural, natural ventilation, natural light, or kumbaga, um, less yung paggamit niya ng electricity. Um, he, has, he was also known to his famous design philosophy, which is the Philippine architecture must be true to itself, its land, and its people. Um, nung nag-speech siya, ito yung sinabi niya, we must stop copying other architecture, we must stop copying other culture, we have to develop our own. And this is the I am a Filipino architect and I only design Filipino. Um, as I remembered, may isang professors na nagkwento about sa story nito ni Francisco Manyosa, which is the during the Asian financial crisis, when local architectural firms were going through the hard times, including his own, which is the Manyosa family. And... As I remembered, um, yung may nag-offer sa kanya ng isang um, large scale project kung saan mababago yung buhay nila. Tapos, uh, yung project na yun is, yung design was western style. That was trendy at that time. Um, parang ang ginawa niya, nereject niya or hindi niya tinanggap yung offer na yun. Kasi nga, against siya dun sa... Um, design philosophy niya which is the I am Filipino and I only design Filipino and also <clears throat> his famous structures and notable works um, isa na dito yung tahanang Filipino or the coconut palace um, itong coconut palace na to hailed as one of his iconic works um, that was drawn from the Tree of Life. The palace used um, indigenous materials such as bamboo, coconut, rattan, kogon, shell, adobe, including ash straight from, from the Pinatubo eruption. Ito yung isa sa mga sikat na ginawa ni architect Manyosa, um, which is known until, until now. And also, the Edsa Shrine, which is, which is a symbol of nations, love for freedom as the site of two people power movements. Um, Our Lady of Edsa Shrine on Ortigas Avenue was also done by Manyosa. Um, Nakipag-collaborate siya sa National Archi Artist for Architecture na, si, na sina Leandro Loxin and architect William Coscolwella. 
The image of Our Lady Queen of Peace was sculpted in bronze, as you will see in the image, um, by the late artist Bir Virginia T. Navarro. And also, Quezon City Memorial Circle, which is the master plan <coughs> of the Quezon City Memorial Circle, was created by Manosa's architectural firm. <coughs> The famous man-made park has faced one too many natural disasters, cultural transition, political climate, and still remains as the city's landmarks. Um, and the San Miguel Corporation head office. <clears throat> Yung San Miguel head office na to, um, is ginawa niya together with his brothers, Manuel Manyosa and Jose Manyosa. Um, the building is marked by a unique step terrace design that was in, inspired by the Banawe Rice Terraces. Mukha talaga siyang um, Banawe Rice Terraces yung itsura niya. And since yung mga hindi nawala yung landscape, yung pagkaka-sustainable pagka, 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 pagka architect, architecture niya. Yung landscape, um, the greenery that spills from the building facade. And also, the Manyosa's family home, um, which is the home incorporated elements and details of the Bahay Kubo, like the high pitch roof, as you will see in the image, um, wide windows, which is really open for natural light and natural air also. And lastly, the Aman Pulo Resort. Um, this Aman Pulo Resort um, was employed to sustainability features in the design of the resort such as re renewable energy, natural light, and indigenous material, um, which earned um, three international awards. Um, yung awards na yun is the Asia Pacific Interior Design Award for Hotel and Resort category in the year 1994. And the prestigious Galivantes Award for Beach Resort Worldwide in the year 1994 and 1995. So, ito yung mga, mga famous work ni architect Bobby Manyosa. Um... Architect Bobby lived a full inspired life, leaving us with structures that no doubt contributing to national building. In them, he lives on, serving as con constant testament to the virtue of embracing ourselves as a nas nation and preserving our identity for many generations to come. And that will be all my report for presentation po ma'am. Thank you and here's na rin, na, here's na rin yung mga References na pinagkunan ko po. That's all ma'am. Thank you and God bless po.